Robert Komodo when hey. I take his boy to school. Hey, it looks like you're the student on the teacher. All right, say all you want. If you knew it was in the backpack, you wouldn't be talking smack, all right? That's all I got to say. Wait till down. you see what's in the backpack. Being at Loretta's my whole life, I think this is my 15th year racing here. The layout's the same, looks really wide, actually looking really forward to it. And it's not that hot this year. This place always, it's like 100 degrees or rains and we got beautiful weather for tomorrow. So I'm gonna give it my all and uh, hopefully get right back into the top five in points. So that's what I'm going for. What do you think Chip's doing right now? Chip, I don't know. He's looking a little sus with that uh, backpack on. It's, he's got something really big in there and his backpack, like, what, what are you walking the track in the backpack? He's, he's got something else. You never know with him. All right, well, good luck tomorrow, man. You don't want none of this. You better step up your banana game tomorrow. You're lucky I didn't bring my costume. You better, you need a bushel of bananas though. If you want to keep up with this tomorrow? That's all I gotta one say. One yesterday, one banana today. You're gonna need at least six tomorrow. If you don't eat six, you're I gonna get three, smoked. I got three left. You're gonna get smoked. <laughs> That's what I think about that. Go fetch! Boogeyman. What's on the shirt? The boogeyman. I'm out here <laughs> getting ready for Halloween. I guess you could say. Just in the, in my, in, I'm in a good spot. I'm in good vibes. I had to get my boogeyman shirt out. You know, just feeling good. I'm excited, man. The anticipation's been killing me. I just want to get out there and ride, but just ready to go out there and do my thing and and just put it out on the table and uh, you know hopefully come home with with a lot of number ones today. If I fall again, will it be the end? I know it's wrong, you think I'm strong, but I just pretend. Is it taking over? Will it bury me? Or will clarity become the cure for my
just finished qualifying number two I got six not really what I was looking to get but uh, times are close everything comes down to the motos and uh, come into this it's not crazy hot I'm feeling physically good so I'm gonna do the best I can and put it together and see what I can do that you really want want to drink some cocktails. <laughs> no, I'm pretty happy. Um, 
it, it was really hard to get down here and be motivated to go out and race just because I'm 31 points ahead. I don't, I don't even have to, but um, I want to go out there and finish strong. I got a couple bets going on. I might win a couple guns if I won one, so I'm, I'm amped on that. That's what we're gunning for, get that 1-1. One, one. championship number one plate. Congratulations, John. Alexander, Jace Davis, William Plaza, Corbin. Finished her off strong with the first moto. Good hole shot and uh, the goal was obviously to win that first moto so that I could uh, not have to stress about the second moto and I didn't necessarily expect to do that like but I went out there and just full send everything like I jumped jumps I didn't jump the first moto and uh, I just put it out on the table and uh, it worked out man 1-1 one, one, I felt awesome today bike was working phenomenal just felt unstoppable man and, and the confidence and the positive energy coming in here it really paid off with the training and, and just all the hard work and you know to be the three-time champ after what I've had happen to me in the years past, it's a very emotional experience and I'm just so thankful and so honored to do this at uh, such a high level with such such great competitors and uh, you know to be the best of the best, it, uh, I really want to pat myself on the back, but um, I, got, I got a lot of guys behind me that do that and keep me, keep me happy and keep me positive and uh, I'm just so happy. Finish it off with the 1-1, can't beat that. Thank you guys.
want the truth, but not only was there a uh, banana in the tailpipe, but there was one in the intake. You know, I, I snuck over there after qualifying. He was inside the motor home and uh, popped its air filter off, popped the banana in, and listen, it's fair game. It's all part of it, right?